Hello students, here we are going to learn about wavelength routing and assignment. So the wavelength routing and assignment for successful transmission of the data. So consideration of the viewpoint has here, a route has been uh, founded or an appropriate wavelength has to be assigned between the particular transmitter and the receiver in this particular network. And this is also called as a routing and wavelength assignment RWA. So this has a two problem in this case. One is known as a wavelength continuity constraint and the distinct wavelength constraint. So in case of the first, uh, the, in the absence of a wavelength conversion, uh, it is required that the light occup uh, occupy the same wavelength on all fiber link it uses. So this requirement is uh, referred to as the wavelength continuity constraint. And the RW problem is a critically important in the increasing of the efficiency of the wavelength routed optical network or wavelength uh, routed network. So when the routing node are not capable for wavelength conversation, so then the light path must be used the same wavelength in all the optical segment it uses. So it provides the same wavelength for the, the optical segment that are using the particular uh, network. So in the absence of the free wavelength along the entire route, the connection cannot be established and it is a block. So when the wavelength conversation is present, so at the time the only limiting factor is bandwidth of every link and there is such kind of network, a connection is blocked only when no wavelength is available at some segment in particular optical path. So the distinct wavelength constraint is a all light path using the same link or single fiber, then the light path should be allocated to the different wavelength in this network. So based on that the static and the dynamic case, so in the case of the static, uh, static light path establishment is there and the traffic requirement is known as in the advanced basis for that kind of uh, problems. Or in the case of dynamic is known as a DLE, dynamic light path establishment in, the, in order of the light path requests arrive randomly. So in this case, randomly request based process is there. Or in the case of the static one advancement feature uh, there to requirement the particular network availability. So for DLE, the so object is to choose a route and the wavelength which maximize the probability of setting up a given connections while at the time of attempting to minimize the blocking of future connections. So they provide by DLE, dynamic light path establishment. So this two kind of pro problem is generated from this uh, routing sub problem or wavelength assignment sub problem. So in case of routing assignment, so two type uh, uh, normally are there, the fixed and adaptive routing. So in case of the fixed routing, a single fixed route is predetermined for each source to destination pair. I'm uh, consider one example over here. So suppose one and two, the input are there and three and four output are there. So we provide a, a one connection. Okay, one is always pass into the three. Uh, two is always pass, uh, sorry, one is always pass into the four and two is always pass into the three. So predetermined path is available in the fixed kind of routing. So every time the particular source to destination path, every time same or same link is provided for the data transmission. So no any other routing is finding out for each and every time from the particular source or destination. So in case of adaptive routing, uh, alternate routing path is possible. So it relies on the set of predetermined fixed route between the source node and the destination node. So when a connection request arrives, a single route is chosen from the set of predetermined route. 
Suppose we have to provide a 1, 2, 4 in this case. So there are two alternate paths is also possible. And so they have to predetermine path route available between the particular source node to the particular destination source. So out of this available all predetermined path, only one single route is considered as a select for that particular data transmission among the all predetermined routes. And the light path established on this route. So this route is considered as for the transmission beta between the source node to the destination node. So the criteria for route selections are typically based on either path length or path congestions. So in case of wavelength assignment, a light path is required to be established before data is transferred between a two communicating nodes when the two or more nodes in the network or in the networking medium so hence is known as a, a communicating node so at that time the connection is established before that the data is transferred the path is considerations no two light path can share a common link using the same wavelength known as a wavelength continuity constraint i'm already discussed in the previous slide and using this kind of mechanism blocking probability is increasing because the only one case is used for the particular link so the rise wait for the q and also sometimes the q is uh, override then the blocking mechanism be and the drop mechanism is there so at that time the blocking probability is also increased so in case of wavelength alignment also a possible alternative to reduce the blocking probability is the use of opto electronic wavelength converters so this wavelength converter is provided to convert a wavelength from l1 uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 or lambda 2 to lambda 1 vice versa also so but this uh, converters add substantially to the cost of the particular network in which data is routed so we need some form of network control and the signaling mechanism if we do not use wavelength converter so alternate of this converter is provide uh, some of the control and the signaling mechanism to provide a proper data route between the uh, different light path provided between the input to the output connection of the given network 